Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today is the day I am finally going to share with you my giant TJ Maxx haul. So I have a ton of bags that I've just collected over the past few weeks of stuff I bought, and I want to just do a giant haul for you of everything. So pretty much this is just makeup and all the clothes I bought because they've had some really cute spring stuff in, and they recently did like markdowns not too long ago. So I picked up quite a few things. So let me go ahead and get into it. All right. The first thing that I picked up is this jacket. It's by the brand Love Tree. I've been looking for a quilted jacket for a while and I thought this one was really cute and it has like the Sherpa interior. Now this one is a bit small. I really wish they had an extra large but I don't think this brand comes in XL which is so annoying but I went ahead and got it. I'm going to see if I can make it work. I could probably style it just wearing it open but it's so pretty. I did recently find another quilted jacket at Target that actually does fit me, <laughs> but I kind of like the texture of this one a bit more. It's like silky feeling, but my store had tons of these left in stock, probably because they do run so small, but it was on yellow tag clearance for only $16, so I decided to grab it for a jacket that is an excellent deal. But yeah, I literally cannot zip this, so I don't know. I might end up returning it unless I just wear it open, but I don't know if that's... I don't know, it's kind of weird to just wear it open like that, but I just love the look of it, and it's very lightweight, like a nice spring jacket. Also bought this, because I needed it so bad, but it's a steamer, and this is by the brand Pure Steam. You can always find these at TJ Maxx. There's different brands, but they all essentially work the same. You just fill this guy with a little bit of water, um, turn it on, and it will steam. So this is how I, like, Instead of ironing, I steam all my clothes. If they have wrinkles, it gets it right out. And since I've been also selling a lot on my Poshmark of clothes, I wanted to make sure everything did not have any wrinkles, so I make sure I steam everything. And yeah, this comes in handy. I really love this thing. I bring it with me on trips too when your stuff is in your suitcase all wrinkled. So I love this thing. It was $14.99 at TJ Maxx. Here's another clearance sweater that I got. I love this. I've already worn it a couple times in different videos. And I've gotten a lot of compliments on it from you guys as well. But this is what it looks like. It has almost, it's like a would you call this a turtleneck almost? It comes up high and it's the chenille fabric which is so soft. It's this beautiful sage green color and this is by the brand Cynthia Rowley. I noticed this brand has a lot of different chenille type stuff at the stores. I got a medium. It fits perfect. This was marked down to $13 instead of $16.99. So I got that on the red tag clearance but I thought it was a good deal. I also picked up these leggings. I still need to try them on but I thought they'd be kind of fun to wear for different workouts. So they, I liked the material of these as well. They feel very stretchy and nice and thick. It feels like the material I really like with certain leggings. So I got the marbled ones. This one is by the brand Balance Collection. So let me know if you guys like this one. This is a large and it was $16.99. It says they are a dry wick, so I guess they probably don't get wet which is nice if you guys are sweating. So I got those. I'm so excited about this shirt. I really hope it fits me. I still haven't tried it on yet, but I am a big fan of Def Leppard. Me and my husband love it. Love all the 80s hair metal. So I got this cute tie-dye Def Leppard cropped shirt. I did get this a few weeks ago, so they may not have it. And if they do, it might be on clearance already, but it was so cheap. It was $12.99 and I just love it. The long sleeve... I just really hope it fits. I think it will. So there's that. It's from their Adrenalize album. So cute. This cardigan I just picked up yesterday. I cannot wait. This reminds me of a Barefoot Dreams, the cozy light weight ones. Literally a dupe for it. I was shocked to find this in store. So I just found this one so you may be able to find this at your stores. It's by Rachel Zoe. It was in like the women's section but yeah I swear to you this is like a dupe for the Barefoot Dreams light which is my favorite. I don't like the original Barefoot Dreams because it's like so thick. So this one's so nice because it's a lightweight material. So soft and cozy. So yeah Rachel Zoe. This was $19.99 and completely worth it. So excited about that dupe. And then I think this is the last uh, clothing item. It's actually very similar to what I'm wearing right now. But I love these type of gray thermal tops just for every day. This is by the brand Calvin Klein. 
And so I just got this thermal gray, just something I could wear with anything pretty much. Very comfortable. This was $16.99. Originally $49.50. So yeah, TJ Maxx has some amazing clothing deals right now. I'm obsessed with their stuff. Now I'll go ahead and share with you the makeup I bought. Okay, so I did end up getting both of these Marc Jacobs kits at the stores. I just love Marc Jacobs and most of this haul is actually Marc Jacobs stuff because they've been showing up recently. But I bought their spring 2020 runway kits. They are a little bit pricey but I know I'll use these products. So this one was $14.99 and this one comes with this purple eyeliner which I was so excited about. I think that's going to be so pretty as well as one of their uh, lip lacquers in cream and sugar which I love this color. It's so beautiful and one of their mini dew drops and like coconut gel highlighters which I also love. I also picked up this one as well. Couldn't resist again. This one has a really fun makeup bag with it. And this one was $24.99, so quite a bit more, but how cute is that? This one has all products I know I'm going to use. So we got a full-size black Marc Jacobs eyeliner. I absolutely love the formula of their eyeliners. They're so good. We also got a mini mascara from them. I think this is the Velvet Noir, which I also really love this formula. Their lipstick in cream and sugar, so we have the matching lipstick in gloss. This color is amazing. Full size. Love the formula of their lipsticks too. I'll go ahead and swatch this one actually. Look how pretty. They're just so hydrating on the lips. Like it even felt so hydrating just putting it on my hand. And then also, I'm really excited for this. We got a full-size sequin glitter in Glitter Rock. These are so gorgeous. They're like a pressed pigment. So you keep this little guy in here to keep it all pressed together. And this color, oh my goodness, it's like the perfect gunmetal like silver. Obsessed. So I had to pick that up mostly for the lipstick and this glitter. Just so gorgeous. My store still has a couple of these, so don't sleep on these sets. They're so good. I also picked up the highlighter eyeliner in top brass. I had to. Such a pretty color. This one was going for $7.99, but I just love this shade. It's like a dark gold, and I wear so many gold eyeshadows, so I think this is going to go perfect. It goes with their gold collection, which we did find the palette in this collection as well. So this is the palette called Extravagance. I am beyond, beyond excited for this. It looks like this. Oops. Let me take that out. It has the black and gold packaging. I've been wanting this palette for so long. I almost bought it full price, but I'm so glad I waited. I just can't believe this is at the stores. Marc Jacobs is so good, and I just feel like people always sleep on their stuff. Like, they have such good quality. So this was $19.99, which is a little pricey for TJ Maxx, but completely worth it. You guys will see how beautiful this is. The Formula 2 is just 10 out of 10. Like, how freaking stunning. Like barely swipe these full pigmentation so creamy the shimmers are stunning I'm just oh so excited about that find that was seriously I like made my entire week I also decided to buy this one too <laughs> I really didn't need this one I love the gold one more but I just decided why not because it was at the store and sometimes you know you're just you see the deal and you just feel like you have to buy it so you know they're going to be gone the next day, but I got the Fantasine palette as well, which is this beautiful rosy toned palette. So pretty. I'll go ahead and swatch this one too. I think I will get some good use out of this one as well. It almost reminds me of my new Tarte palette, the Juicy, but I like that it has some warm and cool tones kind of mixed together. How stunning is that? This one's $19.99 as well, but... Wow, those Marc Jacobs palettes are just, I cannot believe they were at the stores. I also picked up this cute little MAC set. I had to have this mostly for the strobe cream. It was full size. I've been wanting this and it was $14.99 in this kit. I just never bit the bullet and bought it, but this is so beautiful. You could use this underneath your foundation. You can mix it in with your foundation. You could wear it as a highlighter. It's just a beautiful color. So this one is the pink light. So it's going to have a brightening pink effect. It is stunning. It just looks so glossy. 
but it's not a sticky formula at all. It'll just rub right into the skin. And that also came with a little mini Fix Plus, which I use Fix Plus all the time, so I was like, whatever, I'll just go ahead and buy this. It's not the best deal ever, but I wanted this strobe cream for a while, so I just went ahead and picked up the Duo. I also picked this up from Cover Effects. It's their Custom Cover Drops Foundation. I used to like this when it first came out, but they completely changed the packaging and everything. So this is the updated packaging. And it looks really tiny, but this is the full size because you don't really need a whole lot. So this was only $6.99, which is a steal. And this is what it looks like. So it's going to be something you only need a couple drops of and you'll get the full coverage. But like I said, I've tried it before. I really liked it. So I'm excited to have this again. Um, in the updated packaging so we will try that soon I also bought this but I don't know I haven't decided what I want to do with it yet but I guess I'll show you it's the Marc Jacobs glow stick I feel like this is old when I bought it I don't know I know this came out a while ago and I think this was at the stores before but I've seen good reviews on it it's like a roll up cream highlighter yeah the color is beautiful so I should try this out I don't think it smells weird. I don't know. It's pretty. So I'm going to try that. I love cream highlighters. And so I randomly just picked that up at the store because I was in a buying mood. It was $12.99. And then lastly, I did pick up one of the e.l.f. blushes. Oh, wait. I have one more thing to show you guys, too. got to find it. But it's also from e.l.f. This is the Always Preppy Primer Infused Blush. I got this kind of to see if it's a dupe for my favorite blush from Buxom. So this one was only $2.99, so you really cannot resist that price. This is what it looks like, and yeah, I feel like this is going to totally be a dupe for the Buxom. Uh, maybe a little bit darker, actually. The Buxom one I like is a little lighter, but I did swatch that pretty hard. It has great pigmentation to it, so these are well worth picking up as well. And then the last thing I almost forgot to show you guys is this e.l.f. highlight palette. So gorgeous. This was $4.99. It's just called Glow Gleam Beam. I hope that this stays in stock. I know e.l.f. has been coming out with lots of new stuff lately, but um, it has six shades of highlight. I'll go ahead and swatch all of them. They're not the best. I don't know. I feel like I saw that this had good reviews, but now I'm swatching it and I don't know how I feel about it. Okay, so here they are. They swatch very, very light, but they could be nice like natural highlighters. We will see. Let me know if you guys have tried them, but I've been, I was expecting a little bit more with this formula, but I'll definitely have to do it in like a testing TJ video for you guys. All right, so that is everything. I bought at TJ Maxx for the past few weeks. I told you it was a lot. Um, I feel like I found some good stuff though. Uh, and yes, TJ Maxx testing videos are coming. Don't worry. <laughs> I've had so much to upload lately, but since I bought so much, we will definitely have one very soon. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Bye.